Thank you so much for your kindness and generosity. I'll be sure to take this with me to our new village. And I'm sure it'll make them very happy. Thank you. Thank you, of course. Yes, thank you. Yes, do not worry, ma'am. I will take great care of your princess. She is indeed one of a kind. Thank you for your generosity. May you and your family be blessed. Have a good day. Bye. Ah, my dear Vixie. I believe that should be enough for today. I think you're right. The sun is starting to set, and we need to rest for our trip tomorrow. My brother and I will escort you and your guards back to the castle. Alright. Sounds perfect. After you, sir. <laughs> We must start packing for the journey to Shataro. We shall depart at dawn. I will go for the evening and get the carriage for us. So when you wake, everything will be ready. Thank you. And when we arrive, we will be married. Of course. Captain, please make sure she is comfortable for the evening. I will leave you two to say your goodbyes. Um. Goodbyes? <laughs> what do you mean by that, sir? We're not saying goodbye to each other. They're coming with me. Why would they join us? I have an entire army at my disposal to ensure your safety. I know you have an entire militia at your disposal to keep me safe, but I don't know any of those people. You may trust them, but I do not. So, whether you like it or not, they're joining us. But my princess- No ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're joining me. They've been with me through thick and thin for years now. And I'm not going anywhere that they're not going. You're right. You should feel comfortable in your own home. Thank you. I will allow your guard to join us and accompany you as long as you see fit. Thank you. Now, my princess, let's not argue. It's a celebration after all. Of course. Now, I'll leave you both to finish packing, my love. Thank you. Good night, sir. Did you hear that? He's gonna let you join us. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. You hate him. I know, you hate him. <laughs> it's obvious the two of you don't like each other. Ah. <laughs> oh. What do you mean, why am I laughing? Are you kidding me? Did you hear what he just said? He's going to let you. <laughs> Please. That man thinks he has any authority over me. He is surely mistaken. <laughs> Especially when it comes to you. I'm not leaving you behind. Like I said, I don't go anywhere you don't. Now come on, we gotta get packing. Tomorrow morning we start our new life. I guess I've been dreaming about this day for so long. I guess I just figured it'd be under different circumstances. You know? Guess not. No point in no, no point in reminiscing about the past. Doesn't matter now. Got our future to look forward to. Okay, Captain. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Please, 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 just at least the both of you make it there, you know? Just make it there. Don't you sass me, I'm making sure that the both of you know this. Good night, Captain. Sleep well. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. You were never going to be left behind. Not if I have anything to say about it. Can I, Captain? Sleep well.
<laughs> Thank you for helping us load up, Captain. And I apologize if I was presumptuous before. I was assuming that you weren't coming with us. I know my love cares a great deal about you. And if she trusts you, then I do as well. Keep your wits about you. There may be dangerous obstacles on the path. If we're all ready, let's go to Shitaro. <laughs> We're going to need to speed up in order to keep up with the others. I can barely make anything out in the snow. We need to find shelter. The storm is too powerful. Everyone hold. Don't. Move. Captain, get Vixie to safety. We passed the cave not too far back. Hurry. What's... what's happening? What's happening? Uh, uh, what? Uh, no! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, go, go, go! Go, go, go! go. <laughs> It's just my foot. Ah. How bad is it? I didn't have time to think. I just stabbed him with my rapier. Okay. Captain, no, not your cape. Hey, hey, hey. Stop it. Don't blame yourself for this. There's nothing and no one that could have prevented this. It's okay. It hurts, but it's okay. It's okay. Look at me. It's okay. Really, it is. I'm gonna be fine. Calidus, Calidus, what about- uh, uh. I know, I know you don't like him, I know. But now is not the time. He was the only one that got us out of that situation. You have to admit that. <laughs> and now we're just gonna leave him alone? No, you're right. There's no use in- No use in wearing myself out. Already feeling faint as it is. Uh, 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 uh. Could you, Captain? I feel really cold. Could you please hold me? Please, it's so cold. Especially, I. I. ever think that we were going to end up here? What do you mean, what do I mean? My number has been called. 
just like I said. Like I said, I just ought to be under the different circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> started when you first started working for me all those all those years ago <laughs> we were out and about my mother my sisters and I in the courtyard she was showing us that it's okay for royalty to still be relatable to people <laughs> so as we were wandering around you were latched at my side you didn't really know what to do, but you knew that it was something important. I remember we were passing by a garden. Yeah, the village garden. The one that's grown exponentially since back then, but I remember back then there wasn't much to it. Maybe a couple of vegetables here and there. A couple of rose bushes that my mother helped plant. You saw one of the f one of the buds had fallen, so you picked it up. You dusted it off, and you you gave it to me. <laughs> yeah, it's just the breeze. It's okay. Uh, yeah, who would have thought that back then you were so adamant to protect me, even when we were just kids. Even you were just a kid. <laughs> you just showed up in our lives one day. My mother told me that it was 100% okay to trust you. Who would have thought that? You were so adamant to protect me even back then. <laughs> you were just kids. You showed up into our lives out of the blue. did everything you could to take care of me. You still do everything you can to take care of me. Please don't blame yourself. Yeah, I'm just a little cold. There you are. I'm glad you found it okay. Calidus. Vixie. What in the name of the gods happened to you? Oh, I'm alright, really. Really, I'm alright. You're not alright, your foot is bleeding. Yes, I am. How did this happen? Uh, it was one of the wolves. They latched onto my foot and I had to, well, stab him. You call yourself a guard. Calidus. How could you be so Calidus. careless? She could have been- Calidus! Stop. Please. It's not their fault. It's no one's fault. Please, don't blame them. There's nothing that anybody could have done. Please, don't blame them. They did everything they could to protect me, and they got me here, didn't they? This is no one's fault, much less theirs. You're right, my love. Calidus. The important thing is that you're safe. What about you? Oh no, I'm fine. Just a couple of scratches. If you're sure. Listen, we need to start a fire. Your guard and I will go and find wood and anything else we can burn to keep us warm. You're right. We need to do whatever we can to hold out as long as we can. If the two of us go, we can ensure we don't get lost. You have your dagger if something happens. We won't be gone long. I'll wait for you. Be safe. Please just go. I'm gonna be fine. Please just go, okay? Go with him. Please. It's not just for his safety, it's yours as well, okay? Don't be a know it all right now. Please, just go. You'll be back faster. Thank you. Thank you.
I'm sorry if I insulted you earlier. It was out of line for me. When I saw Vixie hurt, my head became foggy. I was so angry that I wasn't there to protect her. And seeing her there, wrapped in your arms, her foot wrapped in your cape, being comforted by your touch, it made me see red. Then I saw something. You were scared also. You almost lost the one thing you care about most in the world. You are losing the one thing you care about the most in the world. Not even fairly given a chance to try and fight for her. And you're scared that she's going to fall for me. She is falling for me, isn't she? I can see it when she smiles at me. I know you're scared. Because I'm scared of the same thing. I'm scared she's going to run away with you. And never look back. Don't you see why I didn't want you coming with us? Because I don't trust you. Because you're going to take her away from me. Because you love her. <laughs> From me. Get away from me. Get away from her. Uh, Captain. Oh, Captain, are you okay? In our excitement, we forgot the wood. I remember where it is, so I shall return shortly. Calidus. Please stay safe until I return. I know, I, I just, uh, I couldn't see him. Is you? I know it was a person. From the weight of their hand, a man. What would, what would a man be doing out here in the middle of a snowstorm? You're right, could possibly be a looter, but I mean... I guess everybody knew about this, didn't they? I was crossing this path. I guess even bandits have their ears open, don't they? Captain, are you sure you're okay? He didn't hurt you, did they? He didn't hurt you, did he? You two were gone an awfully long time. Was everything all right? There was a fight. Captain, what do you mean there was a fight? Heated words. Wait, you started it? Wait, you started it? You swung at him? Captain. I don't... I don't understand. I know you don't like him, but I thought at least you'd 
show a little bit of respect, especially since I fought so hard for you. Even though I knew you were always coming with me, I knew I had to be prepared for that he was going to try and convince me to leave you behind. And I fought for you. I continue to fight for you. I fought for you for my I fought for you with my father, I fought for you with my mother, I fought for you with my apparently future betrothed. Why? Why are you so heated about this? Why I know why am I not heated about this? You don't think I am? You don't think that I hate this? That I have to put on this perfect princess persona for this guy? I have no idea who this person is. Whether or not they're even a friend to our village. To my people. And yet, I thought that you would be there to support me. But I... I Captain, Captain, I'm... How is she? Are you alright? You took quite the fall after that thing tackled you. Have either of you ever seen that person before? Did you see their face? Glowing eyes. Are you sure? That's bizarre. I have never seen it in all my time traveling through this path. So, did you tell her about... You said you started it? <laughs> I guess she just attracts people like us. I would have said the same. I won't tell her about your feelings, though. I can't say it does me any good to know. Can I tell you a story? I was honestly terrified of coming to her village. Meeting the woman that I was going to be spending the rest of my life with. And I didn't even know her name. My father insisted that it would join our families as allies, although, to be honest, I'm not doing it for him. He's a horrible person. Do you know that he beats his kids and his wife? Growing up, I thought of running away and finding a new home and a new village, but I always knew that I would be hunted. I'd never be safe. My mother would never be safe. That was my biggest fear, leaving her alone with him. I was the only one who could protect her. I can't imagine someone being able to live with themselves if they left knowing that there was someone hurting their family. My mother told me stories of how the Queen of Princess Vixie's village was a woman who enjoyed welcoming in children who have been abandoned or needed to be rescued. How they are given jobs and a home to stay in, how they can come and go as they please, but many have stayed. Vixie, in many ways, seems just like her mother, wouldn't you agree? Taking in the strays of the world and making them feel like they have a safe place. I'm sure you felt the same way when you first saw her in the courtyard all those years ago. When you gave her that little rose, I'm sure you were thinking that this was going to be the start of something different. A life where you would keep her safe. To make up for the woman you failed. But there's something else you're hiding. I'll find out what it is. And when I do, I promise you I will expose you for the coward you are. Someone who abandons their family does not merit the title of a guard, much less to a noble of Vixie's caliber. The storm is starting to let up. 
I'll take Vixie and get her into the carriage so we can keep going without disturbing her slumber. If I were you, I'd cover the back end and try not to make too much noise. Let's go.